Welcome to Acing Autism's fifth and final virtual clinic. I hope everyone used last week as a chance to review the previous four clinics. Now let's go ahead and get started on week five. For week five, we'll begin with a hand-eye coordination exercise. We'll introduce a couple different volley activities and finish working on our forehand ground stroke before the final cheer. For today's clinic, you'll need a tennis racket and five tennis balls. If you don't have a racket, we'll demonstrate a modification for each activity without one. For week five, we're gonna get started with a hand-eye coordination exercise called ball pyramid from our friends at Net Generation. To start, you're gonna need four tennis balls, and we'll go ahead and put three of them together to form a triangle, and put that on the side of our body. Take the fourth ball, put it right on top to complete the pyramid. And now our goal with this exercise is to take this pyramid and switch it to the other side of our body, one ball at a time. So go ahead and get in ready position. And you can start by picking up a ball, Crossing your midline, switching hands, and placing it down. You'll continue to do this until all four balls have been moved across your body to the other side. For some fun, you can give yourself a figure eight, placing it between your legs before moving the ball over. And you are all finished when this fourth ball completes the pyramid on the other side of your body. From here, you can bring one foot in and raise the other off the ground. And already this is gonna feel much harder as we're challenging our balance in addition to our hand-eye coordination. And now our goal is to complete the exercise standing on one foot, moving the ball across the body to recreate that pyramid. If you're feeling balanced and comfortable like I'm not, you can go ahead and complete that figure eight putting the ball around one leg before adding it to the pyramid and you'll be all done when it's fully formed on the other side and you've regained your balance. We've finished our hand-eye coordination exercise. Your legs should be feeling a little warmed up. Now we're going to get into some volleys. You're going to need a racket, about five tennis balls, and a partner. Partners who are doing the feeding. Make sure you're, the person you're feeding to has their eyes on the ball before you feed it. And best practice, always an underhand feed with a nice, slow, high arc. If you don't have a racket, hang in there. We're going to show you a version without a racket after this. For those of you with the racket, go ahead and get in ready position. We're going to do five stationary volleys. So racket out like a high five. One. Two, three, four, five. Now feel free to do as many of these as you want. And if you're ready to move on, we're gonna show you a progression with some movement next. So we have warmed up with stationary volleys. Now we're gonna do five windshield wiper volleys, adding some movement side to side. So go ahead and get in ready position with your racket up. One, two, shuffle back, three, four, last one, five. So here is a variation on our volleys exercise if you don't have a racket. We're going to do five shadow volleys, starting in ready position, getting our happy feet going. One, happy feet, two. Three, four, and one more, five. Feel free to continue along if you're having so much fun and you just want to keep going. So we finished our hand-eye coordination exercise. We got to work on some volleys, added in some movement, and now we're going to close today's clinic with some ground strokes and specifically the forehand. So we're going to come into ready position with your knees slightly bent. And the first thing we want to do is turn our body sideways, put our racket back, 
And then as your partner feeds, you'll swing and follow through. One, turn, two, three, two more. Each time we're turning, coming back to my position, that one. Now if you don't have a racket, we can work on some shadow forehands. Same idea, get in ready position, happy feet, turn for the ground stroke, and forehand motion. Every time we're coming back to the center, ready position, turning, and forehand. Let's do two more. Last one. Nice job. That's a wrap for our fifth and final virtual clinic. If you've been along for the ride and you've seen all five of these, I hope this has brought some fun and challenging activities to your home. If you're just hopping in now, I encourage you to go back and watch the previous four. They have been a lot of fun for me to film and plan here in Austin, and I hope you've enjoyed them. I speak for the entire Acing Autism team when I say how much we've missed seeing everybody out on court, and we really look forward to the day we can do it together again. Until then, I hope everyone stays healthy and active, and let's bring it in for our final cheer. One, two, three, tennis.